I see it as a very good product. Uh, again, if Stan Sailor's writing a report, is, if any representative would write a report, it might be a little bit different, but I think it's a good, good compromise. Uh, we deal with poverty in this, we deal with sparsity, we deal with growth, and, and importantly, uh, a very fair funding formula based upon real statistics, 13 different kinds of statistics in putting this report together. And we in the House Education Committee will move forward uh, with this legislation next week. I'm going to introduce the uh, report uh, probably either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, hopefully sometime next week we'll have a committee meeting, discussion, and vote the bill out of committee. Uh, we will be taking a look at also at a 10-year phase-in of the new uh, commission report as well. I think the whole thing is a lot of times when people look at education, they look straight to the state capital or sometimes to Washington. The truth of the matter is probably about 80% of the school budget is things that are happening locally, signing of teacher contracts, health care, because uh, uh, the amount of a, a pay decides what the pension that teacher gets. So those contract negotiations are very critical to the property taxes and taxes pay people pay in those local areas. So it is critical also that those local school boards, they make the programming and educational decisions locally. We don't here in, in Harrisburg decide the curriculum from each school district. Each school district designs their own curriculum and are responsible for graduating uh, an educated child. 